Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Noah Kelman and I'm here to teach you everything that I know about modern jazz and neo jazz piano. So today we're going to be looking at some neo jazz progressions that I've put together for you all. Some of these are actually from compositions of mine but I really collected these because I think they're awesome exercises that include some fantastic voicings but also some nice challenging harmony for you. So let's talk about how they work, why they work, why they sound good and how to actually improvise over them. And, and let's take a look at some of these voicings as well. Of course, really quick, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos just like this one. And also, if you like the sound of that progression you heard in the intro, well, the good news is that that one and every progression we're examining today are actually all written out in sheet music form in a brand new awesome PDF that is now available at jazzpianoconcepts.com store. Of course, I like to say that my videos are actually sponsored by my own products because every single sale goes directly towards me making more videos just like this one. So I really, really appreciate you checking that out in the store. Um, and if it seems interesting to you, um, yeah, feel free to pick up a copy. All right, let's dive in here. All right, so let's take a look at this first progression here. So actually, let's examine this, this voicing here because I really kind of dig this one. This is one of my favorites. Um, really nice layout of a minor 11 chord. We have 1, 5, flat 3, 11, and then we have flat 7 and 9 on top. So this is really, oh man, yeah, it just sounds so nice as we go up the piano. So you can kind of arpeggiate it like that and get some really nice sounds. But yeah, so this is a really pretty, uh, somewhat modern voicing in my opinion. Um, I like how it's laid out. So the melody here, you'll see it's, so we're doing one to four minor. Now we really kind of need to voice this nicely. So what we actually do here is we do this kind of cluster and then open up to the bigger voicing, right? That's kind of what we can do as we add this note. Now I don't have that rhythm written here in the music, so I'm giving you an extra tip in this video. So now here, we actually jump down a minor third. So that's a, a really kind of typical movement you'll find in neo-jazz harmony. Being able to move your voicings in minor thirds like this. It's a really, really nice sound. So. jump down there yeah, and this is nice so sorry I know I'm saying nice about my own composition but hey you know what I like it that's why I wrote it um, so then we get this other minor 11 voicing again that I've definitely showed you on my channel before one five nine flat three eleven flat seven. So that's a really nice layout. So we have this layout, but also this layout, which gives us the cluster in here. So you can, can kind of see how using uh, a melody, depending on where we want the top note, we can kind of invert the right hand of a voicing and get really nice ways of essentially changing the melody. So that's a really, really cool lesson right there. All right, so we've got a lot of minor 11 chords here, so. Go up to here, A minor 11, and then now we get a B flat major nine. Um, really nice sound, of course. So, interesting progression. So why does this work? Well, honestly, for me, probably the biggest thing that ties this progression together is actually the melody. Okay, so we're kind of hinting away from the E flat with the D. But we go back and then this is where things get a little more interesting. 
move up to A flat major 7 sharp 11. And so for me, this kind of works because um, this time, you know, the first time through the melody, it feels like we're going down. We kind of um, get to B flat, but it's almost like we never escape E flat, right? That's kind of what it feels like in a sense. We're trying to escape, but we never do. Um, the second time, already this feels like a development. Right? Um, instead of going to the A flat minor here, we go to A flat major sharp 11. Feels like already like a little bit of an escape. We keep moving up to B flat, even more up. And then we drop to this. Right? There's so much ascending motion in the second half. E, which is of course a half step above E flat. So, you know, again, you don't have to like this. I wrote this because I like it. I like how it sounds. And again, you can actually find this written out in all keys in the PDF at jazzpianoconcepts.com slash store. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I really like analyzing these progressions because when I'm writing them, sometimes I'm not always thinking as much theoretically. At this point, a lot of the theory for me personally is built into my ears because I've worked on this stuff so much. So I've, you know, how did I get there? Well, I did a ton of work on intervallic voicing motion and switching maybe between a minor and a major, right? So I'm doing minor, I'm actually doing a pattern here, right? So F minor to A flat major, then B minor to D major. So we can actually do these little intervallic voicing motion patterns and practice the skills. So how would I actually practice improvising over a progression like this? Well, what I would probably do is start working on um, playing off the melody, right? So... So of course there's a standard way, which is just to, you know, take notes from the scale that corresponds to each chord. But I think, you know, especially with, with little um, progressions like this, it's really, really nice to kind of work on the melody. So um, practice essentially playing the melody a thousand different ways and seeing how that goes. All right, let's look at one more here. So this is another one actually from one of my compositions. I am working on an album, I promise. This is actually going to be on there. So stay tuned. Um, if you're not signed up for the Discord, I will definitely be making announcements, maybe even sharing pre-release info, um, early versions, demos of the tracks in there. That's totally free, you can sign up in the description. So this one's pretty fun here. So the one motion that I really like here um, that I think is worthy of kind of study is moving down in force, minor 11 chords down in force, right? It's a really interesting sound. Um, so what we're doing here is B minor. This is a nice motion, kind of how you switch from one to the next. So we really do this voicing one, five, flat seven, nine, 11, five. And then we switch to this, one, five, nine, flat three, 11, flat seven. So that's a really, really nice motion that we should examine. So.
This one's also kind of cool. So we've got this E diminished sound, right? Um, and I love this chord because it's not a total E diminished, right? If we had a normal E diminished, we'd have this uh, double flat seven, but we actually have a six on top. So it's, it's kind of a sound you typically hear go down a half step, right? But you could also go up. Right, that's kind of the context we hear that. In this case, we go E diminished to F minor, back to the A flat. And then we actually kind of deceivingly move from the A flat down to a G major at the end. All right, let's take a look at the third one here. So what I mainly want to look at here is actually a little improvisation concept. A lot of time when you have a progression like this, it can actually be really cool to just add one single blues scale. Now I know that sounds like really, really basic, but check out how it sounds. it's kind of got a really interesting sound. So this is something that I think is used a lot in neo soul and uh, neo jazz in general. how it kind of works, right? So really what we're doing here is using a B blues scale. But it's also almost like D major pentatonic. And that creates a really nice tension over the A minor. Almost like an A almost like an A half diminished feel or something. And then it works really nice over the A sus, it becomes kind of consonant again. And then... And then it becomes nice and dissonant here over this, um, you know, F sharp major nine over A sharp. But it creates a really nice kind of continent, continent in a new way, dissonant in a new way, continent, continent, dissonant. So that's a really, really interesting pattern there. All right, so that is all I've got for you today. I hope you found that super useful. And again, if you actually want to dive way deeper into the stuff, work on all three of the progressions from today in all keys, which would be an incredible challenge if you could pull that off. You would definitely make a ton of progress. Um, and also, 22 other progressions just like this in this style. Check out jazzpianoconcepts.com slash store. 25 slick neo jazz progressions is now available there. If you enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button and click the little bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any more lessons just like this one. Also, if you got a lot out of the video, please be sure to click the like button. All right, thank you so much, and I will see you next week with some more lessons to work on.